Step two is to extract the let rec right hand side from deep within our encoding. This is going to be a fairly long step because in step one, we cheated a little bit. We have a perfectly valid definition of recursive factorial using let or split, but it's not a valid definition for Mo because Mo only has single argument functions. This is fairly easy to fix though. We just need to add another layer of functions. Function calls use a different syntax, but this is totally fine. This is valid Mo code. Now we can do one more step of simplification. We've got that fun n on the outside, and then we immediately apply n as the argument. We can drop that. And now on the inside here, we've got code that looks almost like our original factorial. Function n, and then the one difference is we have this self-application inside here. We can pull that out with a local binding, and now this looks even better. But there's a small problem with this version. When we run it, it gives an infinite loop. What used to happen was our self-application was down below inside the if statement, and that way it got delayed. It would only get called when we needed it. Now when it's up on top, it gets called all the time. And so this goes into an infinite loop. We can fix that by delaying, and we can delay with a lambda. And with this one extra layer of indirection, now we have code on the inside that looks exactly like our original factorial. Everything red here on the outside is now boilerplate, and it actually has nothing to do with factorial itself we can make this work for any recursive function. So let's do one more bit of surgery. So the fact specific part is what's inside here. So let's do a fun fact to introduce that name. And now we can begin to rename on the outside. On the outside, we have f for our self-applied function and fx for our combinator that's gonna make the f that we want. And at this point, we can actually split out our loop making code from factorial. These can be two separate chunks. Now at the top, we have make rec, which takes in any function with a body procedure, and it ties the loop for that. And then at the bottom, we can define factorial with a call to make rec. And just like I promised, this make rec now has nothing to do with fact, but it lets us define recursive functions in an almost natural way. So this is our recursive factorial. Here's a recursive Fibonacci. Here's a sum function. And now we can go on and on like this. We've got a Turing complete lambda calculus language.